Hi, and welcome to this quick introduction to Smart Layout for Adobe XD. Smart Layout brings automatic content stacking, margins, gap, and paddings to Adobe XD. So let me quickly show you how you can benefit from this. So let's assume we have this pile of icons here, and we now want to create an icon bar out of this stack. So we can simply select everything, open the plugins Smart Layout panel, and now we have these action available here. So we can make the selection a layout container with one click here. And now we already have this uh, icon bar, as you can see here, which is pretty straightforward. And now we have some extra, extra features here, because what we have now is a so-called smart layout container. And on the container level, we can set paddings and gaps. So let's start with the gap. So if I change this, you can see this is basically the gap between the, uh, the elements here. So now uh, with Smart Layout, we also have access to the elements. So we reach the element level when we drill into the, the container. So again, if I have the outside, this is the group, this is the container. And if we double click now, we have access to the immediate children, which are the elements. And with elements, we have uh, some more features in this element section here. So we, for example, can move things up and down very easily. And we also can add a margin on an element level, which will be added to the parent's gap. So for example, we can say we want to use a 20 zero here, for example, and that means uh, uh, a top and a bottom margin of 20 and a left and right margin of zero. And this follows the CSS syntax. So for example, we can use 10, 20, 30, 40, for example, and that's clockwise. So the first value is top, right, bottom, and left. Or if we just use uh, two values, it's basically the first one is the top and the bottom, and the second one is right and left. And we will see that it's uh, already applying it right away. And this um, will still uh, be there if we move things around. So this might be a special element. Uh, you can define a little bit more room for that. And to really see what is going on, we have this inspector feature here. So you can click this and hold it down and then you will see what is actually uh, going on. So let me quickly increase the gap a little bit. So now you can see the blue lines are the gaps and the purple uh, bars are basically the, um, the margins on element level. So that's uh, one sample, but there's another one I want to share with you or actually two more. Um, so this is really useful for creating buttons. So like this one up here. So let's, for example, um, take this, this uh, button approach, make this pill here. Um, uh, let me quickly select this uh, text here. So uh, just for the sake of simplicity. So what we can do now is we can select those things and make a layout, of, layout container out of this again. And then you will realize it's a little bit different in this case because now the elements are not stacked automatically. And that's um, why there's the word smart and smart layout, because smart layout is intelligent. So uh, let me explain how this works. So if our um, elements are within the boundaries of the first element, then smart layout automatically detects that this is a background. Let me show you how this uh, works if we do not um, include this in the boundaries. So now smart layout detects wait, this is not within this, so this is not a background, so I make this a regular element, so now it will be stacked. So uh, going back again, um, we want this to be the background, so it's as simple as this. So now we can use the paddings on um, our container level, which is basically the inner padding uh, from the background, and this can be 10 for top and bottom, but we want much more for left and right. So you can see, ah, oh, this looks way better uh, for a button. And the cool thing now is we can duplicate this. So we can have hundreds of instances uh, throughout our document, and we now can create variations. For example, click or maybe um, download uh, now. And as you can see, it's not really looking uh, looking good. Might, might even uh, go beyond the boundaries here. But the cool thing now is once uh, we have set up all the layout constraints, we can use the smart layout update layout feature, which is document wide. So we just click this and everything looks 
looks perfect again. So let's move over to a more complex layout. So let's assume we have these uh, bunch of images here. Let's put these down. Um, so again, let's create a very uh, basic background here. And again, if all the content is within this boundary of this uh, first item, it will be um, detected as a background automatically. So we select everything, make a layout container out of this. And again, we have all the, the, the features here. We can move things up and down uh, and so on. Uh, let's move this up here. Um, and uh, we also can fine tune the background, of course. So let's say we don't want this white uh, area be the background, but we want this uh, first image to be the background. So we can drill into the layout container. So it's basically just selecting this child element. And we now have this option here on element level, uh, which is, is background. So this def sets this um, feature to this element. So now we will see that this image becomes the background. So it will not be used uh, um, for stacking, but it will be placed as the background. And again, we can now set all the paddings here as well. Um, and it's the same here um, clockwise, like in CSS. We can say 40 and 10, for example. Uh, so we will have a, uh, a padding of uh, 40 uh, in the top and at the bottom. And uh, yeah, we can also add new elements very easily. So we can just double click here on the same level as these elements are. We can add something new, click update layout, and now we'll see the layout will be updated. Here's some margin in. Um, so if I remo remove that, it will have the same gap as all the other elements. Um, but if I need this, we can uh, add some extra margin on element level. Um, so again, on the content level, uh, on the container level, we have this gap of 10. And if I drill down, I can change the margin on element level, which will be added to the gap. So in this case, um, we can say we want 20 uh, at the top, 0 to the right, 20 at the bottom, and 0 to the left. So as you can see, we have some additional margin here. Or maybe we can use 60 here. So you can see this is uh, getting a little bit more uh, headspace here. And again, we can use this inspector feature here to actually see uh, all the constraints we have we have set. So we have the we have the um, yeah the paddings here. The dark blue uh, is the gap, and we have some additional uh, margins here, which is purple. So it's really uh, a great feature to see. Uh, what you've actually built or how this is uh, working internally. And uh, of course, the, we can use uh, groups as well, um, not just primitive elements like images. As you can see, this is a, a group, a, um, a calendar I once created, or we have some views here. Uh, everything, of course, is still editable. Um, so we can uh, turn this into a smart layout as well. So let's, for example, move this back here. Um, and the cool thing with Smart Layout is that we can actually uh, use nested layouts as well. So let's take this uh, Smart Layout and put this into this boundaries as well. Then we can select everything again, make this a layout container. And now you see uh, that it, everything is uh, as intended. So we can see the inspector, what is going on here. And we can still... Uh, move things up and down, uh, like this card, for example, which is just a random group. Um, but here we also have uh, a, a nested uh, um, element. So this element has these layout uh, properties on container level. As you remember, this is basically a smart layout container, but it is also a child of this layout container. So it has these element properties as well. So we can move this up and down. We can add some extra margins as well here, just for this element, um, as you can see here. Yeah, so it's really easy to create really complex layouts uh, and to create variations really at the speed of thought. 
Um, so we are, have so much, so much more uh, features in the pipeline, but this is the first version and uh, I'm really looking forward to your feedback. Thanks for watching. Bye.